I'm going to replace the battery in this iPhone 6. So if you want to learn how to do this, then stick around. So to start off with, I need to get the thing open. It's already powered off, so it's already turned off. We've already done that part, so we should always turn things off before we pull them apart. And I just get to find the um, correct screwdriver. 1.8, that should be the right one. Yes, it is. There's these pentalobe screws. Now this is a phone I've actually replaced the screen on previously. So you would have actually seen this exact phone previously in another video where we was doing a screen replacement. So if you um, want to learn about that too, um, check out my video history. I've got lots of videos there, various things, repairing iPhones and stuff too. You know, just screen replacements, batteries, that kind of thing. So if you want to learn about that too, then um, look for those videos as well. There'll probably be like a playlist at the end that says Apple Pairs or something like that. I've also got links down below for batteries and things like that for these phones. So if you need someone to buy them off them, you can use my links and I, I get a small commission for, for that sort of stuff. Usually, depends on the site. So I'll put our links down below for the battery and what have you, so you can get nowhere to buy them from. So let's get this case open. I need a sucker thing. Here we go, got one of these things. Very handy tool, makes it a bit easier. You just stick it on, give it a squeeze. And lift it. And it should eventually pop open. It should pop open. I said it should. There we go. <laughs> it popped open. Let's slide it back off again. Now, because of what I've got to do is obviously the screen's got nothing wrong with it. I'm going to be careful about that. I've got to fold this up and stand it up. Now, I need to go and get my little holder. It'll just be easier. The thing I need to do is confirm this battery is the correct one. Because I was wasting my time. No, it looks correct. It all looks fine. Apple part number 61608.09. This one says 0805. Same voltage, same what rating? Hmm. Does it matter? Don't know. We'll guess we'll find out. I mean, it looks physically the same. It might be for a different, uh, different phone, maybe. I don't know. But it's, it's sold as a six battery, so who knows? So let's get my little holder here, and we'll hold the screen up out the way so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, so here we are. So what I'm going to do is just lift this up like this and stick the holder just like that so it holds it up. Okay, so you can see this little cover I've got to take off here. So I'll just grab a screwdriver for that. When you take your screws out, always make note because there are long screws and short screws. This is a particularly long one. Do not mix them up, it's very important because if you put a long screw into a short hole, you can put a screw into the circuit board and destroy your phone. So this one here is a short screw. Okay. So make note of that. Long screws on the left, short screws on the right. Then we've got this little panel here we have to lift off. There's a shield. That's off now. And there's the battery connection. So it's got to lift it up. Now don't use anything metal for this and don't use anything sharp. If you can use a fingernail, if not, use something plastic and don't dig it right in there because there are components around there. I'm going to try a fingernail first and I'll get one in there. It doesn't like it. My fingernails are cutting in the other day, so they're a bit short. So let's get a plastic spudger. We'll try and pop under there and lift it up. Here we go. That's up. Up and out of the way. Now let's just compare this. Make sure it looks correct. It does. It looks the same. So as long as the terminal is correct on the bottom, you can verify that. And we'll just make sure that they match. They look the same, which is what we expect. So it only costs the model number slightly different than the battery, so I'm just very fine. It's definitely okay. So we're looking good there. So I said, now we've got to get this battery out. Now that's always the fun bit with these things. Um, we have some little strips to stand here, and it goes to some of these. Just double sided strips. A bit like those command adhesive things if you're familiar with those. So these kind of stretch and then they pull out. Now if they are struggling too much they can actually rip off and then you've got to try and pry everything out and that's not the best. So another little trick is to actually, um, I haven't tried this yet but someone told me this so I might well try it today. And that is to actually use some IPA, get some IPA in there and Let's try and get underneath the battery so when it does start to release it just slides instead of sticking again so i think that's probably a good idea so i might actually once i get these peeled off i'll um 
I'll get some of that out and, and just put some IPA down there. A IPA, if people don't know, is isopropyl alcohol. And it's quite a common thing, you get it easily enough. Electronic shops sell it, hardware shops usually sell it. The higher the ice alcohol concentration, the better. I'm not talking about your Friday night dinner club either. All right. So let's get some IPA. And let's just shove some down there. IPA is pretty harmless stuff, so you know it's alright to sort of shove some in and sort of flood it a little bit. It just evaporates off again. So it's not really a problem there. Alright, let's give this a go. So you see it's stretching. You see how lucky I get. The past couple of phones I've done, I've had all kinds of issues trying to get these bloody strips out. They've never wanted to cooperate. This one's also not wanting to cooperate, it seems. So let's see the next strip. Be careful about this, the, the uh, screen, try not to knock that over. If you think you might damage it, then take the screen off. This one's looking promising. Looking very promising. Don't try and do it too fast. Just let it go. It just gives it the adhesive a chance to go. Now it's actually quite cold here, which probably isn't helping. Almost there. Okay, is that one off? So it's looking promising. The old IPA trick does seem to have felt. Thank you for whoever suggested that to me. I don't know who it was. So, do the other side. Hopefully, this one behaves as well as the first one did. Feeling tighter, so I'm not confident about that. I might put some IPA in there. Try and get it to run over so where the strippers. Okay. Again, be really careful of the screen and the flex up here. Really don't want to be tearing that. Just slow on doing this just to give it a chance to let go. I'm actually going to hold the bottom of the battery here because when it starts to go, it's just going to flick off. All right, there we go. If I hadn't held the battery, it would have got, gone flying off with it. So I should be able to lift this out now. Here we go, out. No problem. So I'm just going to dry this IPO off a little bit. Let's push it die by itself, but it's got a bit of a puddle in there right now. So we'll get that out. So I get a bit of tissue because that will absorb it alright. I've got some cleaning stuff, but I don't really need to use that for this. I mean, it'll evaporate by itself anyway. I'm just trying to help it along. Also, you want to make sure you don't get IPO on the screen. If you put IPO on the screen, that's always a bad thing. Don't want to have that happen. Okay, so tip this over, make sure there's nothing underneath. Not going to matter too much anymore because it will evaporate off. All right. That's that done. So that's get the other battery. I mean, this battery looks okay, it's just it's not swollen up or anything. It's just not working very well. It's not holding capacity 
now it's going flat quite quickly. Now whether it's a battery problem, whether there's something else going on, don't know. But I was asked to put new battery in, so that's what I'm doing. I actually believe two strips is overkill for this. I don't think it really needs two. So I'm only going to put one strip on. I'm going to put it down the middle. And I think that should be adequate. I don't really see, you know, whenever I've had to pull one of these things apart, it's always been really hard to get the battery out. <laughs> always. So I'm just going to put one strip on, not two. Now, some people might say, oh, you mustn't do that because it's, you know, some other problem will happen or something. Yeah, well, maybe. But I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to uh, put one strip on. That's what I'm doing. So we pull this off like that. Now the tricky bit here is you've got to make sure that this end piece ends up on either the battery. Okay. So we have this black bit there. So I'm just going to stick the black bit right on the end of the battery like that. You see that? There's a black strip. And then I'm going to wrap this around and run that strip up the back of the battery. And hopefully kind of towards the center. Well, it's kind of wonky, but yeah, it doesn't really matter much, really. I don't think it does matter because I wasn't looking what I was doing properly, but that's fine. So, we've also got this other strip here, we've got to stick it it's stuck down there, like that. Wrapped it around, stuck it down. So, when you go to peel it off again, you know exactly where the strip is, you just grab it and peel it off. That's why it's wrapped around the end, like that. Okay, so one strip will probably be adequate, I'm pretty sure it will be. So, now I'm just going to rub this down to make sure it's definitely stuck down nicely, and then we'll stick it in the phone. First thing I'm going to do is make sure this actually plugs into the socket. It should do. Let's give it this. Yeah, that plugs in. That's definitely the right one. Now let's peel this off. And lay the battery in. Make sure it's pushed over to this side. You've got to kind of collapse this bit here down so the battery will sit in place like this. See it's collapsing down. Make sure it's lined up and then just lay it down. That's it. Just give it a bit of a push. And again, always watch out for that screen. You don't want to knock it off. Or bend it over backwards. If you bend it over backwards, you've got a bit of a, a bad day ahead of you. Okay. Let's put the cover here back on again. and get the correct screws, short screws on the right hand side. Whenever I'm doing these, I always lay the screws out in the order they come out in. So a screw on the right hand side is on the right hand side, a screw on the left hand side is on the left hand side, and I do that pattern. So wherever it comes out for, I've got like a virtual pattern on the desk. And I put them back in exactly the same way. That's the way I'll do it, but you have to be careful not to knock them. If you knock them, then you've got a bit of a problem. But then that's when doing video helps, because you always review video. I suggest videoing stuff because it could save you a bit of a hard time. Okay, so that's it. So we should now be able to put it back together and power it up. Now I'm not going to squash it right down in case I've got a problem or something. You never know. Just in case the battery's no good. It could happen. Okay, we have power. So I'll let it boot up and I'll check and make sure it charges. So I'll wait until then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to plug it into a charger. I don't actually have one in this room on this bench anyway. It's in another room my own iPhone and um, yep yeah, it charges up that's fine so it's booted up battery is 66 percent from uh, from original so I've got the charger in a charger I can come on so it looks like it's going to charge that's all fine so we'll turn the phone back off again and we'll put it back together there's not much to do just to clip the case back in so you make sure it's pushed towards the top so it's up the top there and just gradually work the sides down evenly down the sides and it should kind of just pop in. There you, go. you can also push it on the desk like this but I, I prefer to actually feel what it's doing in case it's snagged on something because if it's like this and it's not quite lining up you may force something but I tend to do that afterwards once it's fully in and I'm sure it's just bedding it down. Okay now you've got to put those two um, pentalobe screws back in here. I always forget the name, I always have to think about it. And then we're done. So, again, if you want to watch any other videos about my iPhone repairs or any other Mac repairs, I don't mean I do MacBook stuff and logic board repairs and bits and pieces like that, cable, keyboard replacements, that sort of thing. I've done all that sort of stuff, so 
check out my other videos. Plenty of them. I've got over 600 videos. So make sure you go and check them out. Check out the playlist at the end. Make sure you go and watch them. And give us a thumbs up. Share the video. I think other people you know might be interested in knowing how to replace a screen on their phone. Or a uh, battery or, or whatever. You know, I say I do both of my videos. So they might be interested in, in all those sorts of things. So share the video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And click the bell icon too to make sure you get notifications about videos. Because if unless you click the bell icon, you won't actually get a notification. So if you want to actually be notified from YouTube that I've done a new video, you want to click that bell icon. Otherwise, you'll just be in the dark and you'll miss all the videos I'm keep doing. I do a lot of videos. Uh, another suggestion I do, highly recommend this, is on YouTube when you go to your subscriptions page, make sure you bookmark that page and make that the page you go to when you come to YouTube. That way you get to see all of the subscriptions that you've got. Just by going to YouTube, you'll see them all. And instead of relying on YouTube suggesting them or notifying you about new videos, if you go straight to your subscriptions page, it will show you what's new in the past couple of days or so. And that way you're slightly to miss things. And that's just not for me, it's also for other YouTubers as well. You know, I'm sure if you're subscribed to someone, you actually want to see what they're making. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Clicking on these things up here will give you options to see other videos, my playlists. We've also got another button here and here for Patreon and for subscription. So if you want to subscribe, click on that. It makes it easy. Yeah. Bye. Right. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more.